Hello, hello. Don't mind my crazy light today. It is so cold here that I'm not opening the window because all the heat will get sucked out of my house. Welcome. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It's Thursday. We're heading into New Year's weekend. It's wonderful. If you are out and about, hello, Mr. Darcy. Welcome. If you are out and about, remember to take care, take caution, and protect your energy. There's a lot of people on vacation this week. There's a lot of things going on, and this weekend is the new year. It's also a full moon. So um, last weekend we ended Mercury retrograde. This weekend we're going into a full moon, which has already started with that energy. So just to beware. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you for taking time out. Thank you for being focused on resetting, regrouping, and regrounding, and redirecting your thoughts. If you are a regular, we love you, and we thank you for being here, and we love you for taking time to reset yourself so you can have the best afternoon and the best day. And if you're catching us on the replay, we thank you because any energy shift is a good energy shift, whether we're doing it in mass quantities or whether we're taking that time out for ourselves. Today we're on a little bit early. We have a special guest this week. We've been having special guests. Yesterday we had Caitlin Pelletier. She is a, um, a teacher and a uh, metaphysical student and she is awesome. And on Tuesday we had Marissa Emone who is an incredible healer and life coach and she works through music and creativity. And today we will have Val White who is an intuitive life coach. He is a yoga instructor. He leads um, guided meditations and is all focused on helping people be better every day and live the best life that they can live, which is fantastic. That's so in alignment with all of us, right? Oops, I have an alarm going off. Sorry about that. And we're going to have him over. He's going to guide us through our meditation today and hold space with us. If you're new to us, like I said, don't worry. We're going to just take a two to four minute meditation. We're all going to focus on a peace for our intention. So we're all going to hold the intention of peace. And with that, you can utilize whatever meditation practice that you are drawn to, that resonates with you, that you practice on a regular basis. And if you don't practice meditation on a regular basis, this is a great starting point. This is like the couch to 5K for meditation. So you can just take and sit in your space and enjoy your own self and focus on peace and ground yourself. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing a little bit. So, we are just going to get grounded and get ready for our meditation. I know usually I'm all chatty chatty. Um, I was running around this morning, cleaned my whole house, I got my kids ready, and now they have headed to my parents, and I have today and tomorrow will be for me, and I'm super excited about that, because how is that not the best way to start the new year, right? I know New Year's isn't until the weekend, but every mommy needs a little pick-me-up and a little self-care and a little self-time, so... Yay, Val's here! Okay, let me see if I can... Bring him. Can't bring Val on the camera. Why can't I bring you on the camera? Val, it won't let me bring you in. Um, hold on. Comment again, Val. <laughs> Technical difficulties. They keep changing things on us. Um, I wonder if it's because you're on your laptop and not um, unless you did it from your phone. Mm. It won't let me invite you. Why is it doing that? It let me invite people the other day. I wonder why it's not doing that. Are you on your laptop or are you on your... Okay. He's going to try something different. It's a learning curve. None of us are masters at this, but we show up and we keep trying, right? Um, it's not about being the master of something. It's about learning what you need to know to move into the next space. Not everybody knows everything. And anyone who says they know everything, 
don't follow that person. They really don't. <laughs> Give credit where credit is due. And just, like, when you need help, reach out and be like, hey, I don't know what's going on. So, that's at least how I roll. I always say if I wake up one morning and I think I know everything, it's time to go, one, back to bed, or double check and make sure I'm still actually here. Because that's not real life. Um, doo -ba -doo. I think he's switching platforms, which is fine. That's the thing. When they start moving things around and they add things and they take things away, it happens. No worries. <laughs> I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I am. Even though it's only three degrees where I am. <sighs> oh, also, next week... This week we've been having guest speakers and guest hosts come in to join the meditation. Next week on Rebecca Packard Live Free, we start a one-year journey, a walk through A Course in Miracles. And so if that's something that's interested you, if you've seen Gabby Bernstein, if you love Oprah, if Wayne Dyer's your guy, or if you've ever looked at anyone at Hay House or Louise Hayes, or um, if you are a fan of Marianne Williamson, or um, there's a lot of lot of different people that are all students of A Course in Miracle. Then you want to come over to Rebecca Packard Live Free and take a look at what we're doing. We're going to share each day. We're going to be sharing one of the courses. And we're going to walk through the course together. It's not going to be like crazy and all heady. And um, it's not going to be a lot of uh, homework and whatnot. But um, it's going to be really easy. Um, sad face, Val. It's not letting you in. It just wants to know if I want to block you from my page. I don't want to block you. I love you. <laughs> um, I wonder how else I can Im invite you. Oh, I can comment on myself. That's weird. I never knew I could do that. But... Yeah, so let's see. Can That's so weird. Sad face. Okay. Well, um we're having difficulty getting him on here. Maybe we can log out and log back in and try again. I'm not sure. Maybe it will I don't know why it's not letting me invite him. But we're going to hold intention anyway. Marissa's watching. Um, I can... Okay, so check out and then check back in. Wait, Val! I can bring you on the camera now! I can bring him on the camera now! Yay! Wow! Good thing Melissa just got on because it made it so that Val can get on. That's so crazy. Waiting. Waiting. Oh! Yay! Hi. Hey! <laughs> Hi, darling. Hi. I was like, I don't know what's happening, and then my internet is going out. I'm house sitting for a friend, and it all of a sudden, for the first time ever, told me that I didn't have the right password, and like I never even put a password in. So I don't know. That's <laughs> so worked. crazy. All right. Well, let's jump right into the meditation, and then we'll talk about Val. Yay! So, uh oh, now he's frozen. Oh. <laughs> well, let's take a moment. We're going to hold some intention for peace. And when he's unfrozen, we will talk to him.
Wonderful. I'm so glad that you were able to take some time to reset, regroup, reground, redirect your thoughts, and take a little bit of a relax um, for the afternoon. It makes such a big difference for so many people to just redirect your thoughts, to just rebalance your energy and reground and be in your own space and be in your own energy and affect your own vibration in a positive way. I know there's a lot of things going on out and around us. There's a lot of people that are catching up from the holidays. There's a lot of people that are taking and um, having to go to a lot of parties and visit a lot of different people and be in all these different spaces. And that can get really stressful. It can be real. Happy New Year, Mr. Darcy. It can be really overwhelming at times. But um, it's okay. We can choose what we want. Hello, Ravi. Thank you for joining us. Um, we can choose whether we want to stay in a positive vibration or whether we want to be in a negative vibration. We can choose to choose again, even if we are in a bad place and we are, maybe we're depressed, maybe we're angry, maybe we're frustrated. We can choose to choose again. We can choose love every time. We can choose to be in a space of happiness and a space of groundedness in a space of support. We can choose these things on our own. And that's the big picture is choosing to choose again. When we choose out of alignment with what our goal is, we can choose to go in the other direction and choose to go in a different space and choose to be on the vibration that we want to be in. If um, you have listened to anything that a Abraham Hicks talks about, you know that she's very, very, very all about that. Just choose to choose again. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Happy New Year. I'm sorry we had some technical difficulties. I'm going to see if we can touch base and um, go live a little bit in a little bit over on Rebecca Packard Live Free. Um, I know sometimes technology doesn't always let us do what we want to do, so we're not going to stress about it though, right? We're going to choose to choose again. I could get super frustrated and be like, this computer is not working, but you know what? I can't control that. All I can, tr can control is my own energy, my own reaction, my own vibration, and my own um, decision and emotion. So um, I hope you have a fantastic afternoon, and we will see you tomorrow.